Hey, hey guys, welcome back to my Let's Play. This is, uh, I think, episode 50. I think. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. This could be episode 47. I could just be making up numbers here. Make, I have no clue. But anyways, welcome back to the latest snapshot. We are in 15W35E. I guess that, that's the latest one, but I've skipped over quite a few snapshots since the last time we've actually did a Let's Play. Uh, I do this because there, there hasn't really been too much added. Um... Now that we're in the snapshot, there has been a few, but still not too much stuff in the 1.9 uh, snapshot update. So, uh, in this video, I'm, we're going to work on our house here, but I'm going to show you what I've done. You can kind of see down there what I've done already. I've done some live streams here to do some of this off-work camera, and uh, if you guys were there, you guys kind of know what I've done and what I've talked about. But... Uh, First off, before I, we do anything in this, uh, I'm just going to say how much I dislike the new uh, like mechanics where you can fight with every single type of tool. Like, I like it, but I hate it at the same time. First off, you can no longer right-click with a sword. I know they added shields. I'll, sh I'll get to that maybe in this episode. I did make one shield. Uh, I will show it to you. Where is it? Actually, I'll show it to you right now. Let me pull this out of my inventory and there so they did add the shield so the shield you're able to right click with which I like a lot the shield is awesome look at how awesome we look with the shield and when I hold it really neat idea love that that is great um, the only thing I hate about it is when I reverse I can't I punch with the shield I don't punch with the sword I can still block with it but I can't punch which is kind of yeah eh. no, I'm not a huge fan of it. Um, now, I think when you have the shield out of your hand, you still should be able to block with your sword because why would you not be able to block with your sword even though you don't have a shield in your hand? I mean, you still need to have a way to block. Um, also, the new feature where you punch and it like comes up really slowly. Whoops. I forgot I have haste here, so everything breaks really quickly. So, this right here has the attack speed of 0 0.9. My sword has the attack speed of 1.45. Uh, 1.2 and one attack speed. So, those are a different attack speed. Now, I really like this feature, but I also hate it a lot too. So, you punch and your thing disappears off your screen for like a couple seconds there. You can see it as I punch. Now, I like this feature for normal tools, like for when you're breaking stuff here in in like the house or building something. It, I like it for survival. But for when it comes to actual combat, that is so annoying. For example, here, let me let me get a sword here that is not... I actually know where I have a sword. I'll get to this here in just a second, but let me, let me go over this really quickly here. So if I would take this sword right here, okay, so it's got sharpness 2, looting 2. The looting 2 has nothing to do. Uh, the damage that it does, it does 8.5 uh, attack damage, okay? So if we go find a mob... And we punch it, it will take about three to five hits to kill it instead of the average, I think, two to three for a normal mob. I don't even know if we have any mobs around here. Um, here, yeah, you know what we could do? We can go down here and kill a piggy or something. Come here, piggy. Okay, so I'll punch this pig. Okay, and I like the hearts. The hearts I like a lot. Where are you, Piggy? I gotta keep track of you. And I'll punch him again. And he dies, okay? But, that, that, see, that doesn't really work with that. You know what? Here, I'll kill this guy to, to show him a fact. Come here. See, so if I, see how many hits it takes to kill this guy? Okay, see, there it only took four. Now, there was a snapshot here. Uh, I'm playing on the next snapshot here, 1535WE, and they might have fixed it, but... When I was punching a skeleton the other day, I literally could not kill him. It took eight hits to just actually kill him with a sharpness two iron sword like what I have here in my hand now. So I think they might have fixed it. I I'm still not happy with uh, like the punching mechanics. But anyways, enough about that. I'll, I'll head back to the house here. 
Hello guys and welcome back to my let's play. It's back again. Yeah, next episode. I love doing these epi uh, episodes of my let's play. I just love this world of what we've built in it so far. Uh, we are in the snapshot 15 W35E. We've skipped a few snapshots uh, along the way since the last time we did a uh, let's play episode. Mostly because they didn't add too much. Uh, but now, now they have quite a bit of stuff. So we're going to cover it. Uh, first thing I want to say, I hate the new mechanics where you punch really slowly like this and the tools, like, disappear for a second off your screen. I, I really don't like it. I honestly think uh, Mojang has made a mistake. And I know, I know people are going to be like, well, you should get used to it. Well, I'm sorry. I've played the snapshot for quite a few days here now. And I do not like it one bit at all, so... Uh, just, I, no, just, just no, Mojang, just, what are you doing? Whatever you're doing, no. Um, anyways, here, before we go any further, I have done some serious work here on my house, if you'd noticed. Uh, ignore that, that was built during a live stream. Um, but right here, built this chest room, uh, built this entire bottom floor here, well, this, this section here, and this back section, not really the front of the house, but, um, if we head up the new stairs here, I have built a fire pit uh, with some chairs and some furniture and a record player and it's just, it's beautiful. I really like it. Um, I did burn my house down three times. That's a huge hole here and I, and if you guys were uh, here for the live stream, uh, I did, I did show it burning in the live stream quite a few times. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. So if you were there, I hope you enjoyed my house burning. If you weren't, then it's fine. But, uh. The house here is so big, I'm trying to make it f uh, add furniture like that and this, but it's still so open, so I'm going to have to add more stuff. Uh, upstairs here, we don't have too much. We have my bed, we have the fire pit chimney, we have my beacon, I moved it. It was over there in that giant cross that I built. Uh, that cross is new too. I added that between uh, the episodes. I was just bored one day and I th thought I would build that, so I did. Um... Now, I was on here today getting ready for this Let's Play, and weirdest thing ever. So I was just breaking all this rock here. All this rock was in this area here. And I'm like, all of a sudden... Wait, wait, wait. Let me just show you here. There's a room here. Like, look at this. There's an entire room here that I didn't even know that exists. Do you, like... Have you ever had that before where you like walk into a house, and you're like, it's a brand new house, and you're like, oh, these are really cool rooms. And then all of a sudden, you just find this room that you did not even know that existed and you're like whoa i have this room in my house that i never knew that's there but that's kind of neat though i built this and there's already two stories down there so i thought i actually already used the upstairs here but i guess i didn't this place is huge i didn't even realize how big i built it until i actually built it um i'm repeating myself there but uh so yeah i have this room here now i'm not sure what i'm gonna do with it it merges with this part of the house which is really cool because I thought the only entrance was up there or through the floor down here uh, up the stairs there but it's not so we have an entryway here and I really like how I did this I, I just it's really cool I built all this I did I'm not lying I built all this by hand but I just completely forgot that I even built that which is kind of cool honestly because now we have this whole room here to do whatever we want with so uh we're not going to be really working in the house today. We are going to go and work on the dropper system. And we've kind of been avoiding it up until this point now. So I want to kind of go and finish it out. Uh, make it fully functional. Uh, well, not fully functional. It will be the animal part that we're going to work on today. Because the mob part, that's going to take some time and some off-camera work to finish. But let's drop off all our stuff here that we really don't need. Um, I don't... Uh, what what are we gonna need exactly? Let's go take a look and oh oh quick quick thing here they added in dragon breath. Uh, you, you I had to go fight the dragon. I died I don't know about 17 times. I did all this off camera while I was chatting with my friends in Skype and it was really difficult now the new Ender Dragon and all the towers respawn back in. So there's a lot of obsidian now in the end. Um, but they make these new potions. Uh, these dragger this. This, this dragon breath. I don't know what I'm saying. They're called they're called linger potions, and when you throw them on the ground, they start spreading particles like this. And it's really neat because if you run in here, you actually well, 
Okay, I can't. Let's try that again. Sorry. We throw it down, and we walk into it. Okay. Sorry, it's broken. <laughs> well, okay, we're not, we're just, we're just, 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 no. Okay, we'll just pretend like that never happened, and just, just move on. Uh, the posters are broken, apparently. Uh, we're not gonna go into that. Um, oh, before we go, go off and forget, I made a new skin here. I really like it. Um, so this is what I look like. I kind of have like a fedora and then I t uh, dyed the white uh, orange and I put a duck on the front and uh, there's still the tree on the back. I haven't really figured out what I'm going to put there yet, but what's really neat here is if you notice here, I have a duck. Let's see into a good position. Here. I have a duck on my arm. Now if we go into the skin customizations here, I can add another duck to my arm. And look at that. What's really cool about this is if I go out of my hotbar, there is a duck on my arm. Look at that. It's beautiful. There is a beautiful duck on my hand. It's great. But uh, I can easily remove it. Oops. If we go like that. And we got no duck on my hand, which is really cool. And if we still want a duck on my hand, we can just go over here, turn right sleeve on, and boom. Duck on my hand. And no tattoo on the other hand. So it's, I really like that. I did not know I could actually do that. And I was just like fiddling around with skins and it just, I'm like, why don't I put a duck on my hand? And I tried it and it worked out perfectly. I love it. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, back to this farm here. So we're not going to do the, the water redstone yet. I don't think. Maybe. Maybe we'll do the water redstone. But we're going to work on these doors here right now because these doors are bugging me. So let's see here. Uh, we do have some levers. So we're going to need levers. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of all this glass here. We can actually break it right now. Don't want any of this glass. There we go. Um, we're gonna need... I don't think we need too much. We're gonna need a storage system here. You know what? I'm gonna cut here and go and get all the stuff we need and I will be right back. Okay, so I think we got everything we need to be able to build what we want here. So. Uh, let's see, we need, so the first off we're going to do here, oh, I can't hear, hold on, let me turn this down, music and sound, we'll lower that really low, that way we cannot hear all these animals mooing and hollering and haying and jumping up and down, so we want these doors, uh, so we can have a switch like that on each side, that way we open this, ah, chicken, chicken, no, bad chicken, there we go. See, that sword should have killed that chicken. It's got 13.25 damage and it doesn't kill it. Although it does only have... No, see, it has sharpness 5. That should one-tap that chicken. See, I, I don't understand that. But, uh... So we need a lever here on one side and we need a lever on the other side. If I can... There we go. See, like that. That way, we can just easily open the door and close the door. Come on. Okay, this is not going to work. This is why I made it a button. Hold on. So, I, I forget how we actually wanted this whole system here. So, we want a lever here, a lever here, a lever here. We need another lever over here. I'll just make eight. Actually, you know what? I'll just make one. And a lever here, right? And we want this door facing... No, back. Sheep? Causing issues. There we go. Okay, so we got all of that. Uh, we need uh, buttons now. We're going to have buttons on the other side. I'm going to make all this look fancy uh, probably during a live stream or off camera. That's usually when I make everything look really nice. But we're just going to make it functional. So we have a button there. And if we push it, that should open the door. Yep. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll go from this side here. I really don't have a way to get around here and that's kind of what I need and that's what we're gonna work on here if I can get through here okay so let's see I decided that we're not gonna have anything really back there other than a way to get in there we might have a feeder all the different types of food back there to feed them but we're gonna have the main system be right here hooked into this thing here um, so we'll need a workbench uh, place that down. We'll need. Um, let's see here. We want. Do we want to? You know what? Mm, I'm trying to decide here for colors of wood. I guess we'll 
guess we'll go with this for now, and then maybe we'll do like like that, maybe. Let's give that a try, and let me put that there. Okay, so we're gonna need bridges here. That way we can cross between. Let's go like that. That work. How about like that? Okay, and then we will have. Uh, let's raise it up by one. Come on. There we go. I'm just having a terrible time today. Man. Okay. There we go. So we'll have bridges go over. Oh, come on. Really? I had that. I did. I swear I did. God, I'm just... I'm having a terrible time. Let me out the door. Thank you, good sir, for letting me out the door. Okay, so we'll have bridges be over, I can't even place it there now, over each animal pen here in different sections. We'll have one here and we'll have one at the other end. That way we'll be able to actually get in the animal pen and feed them without them causing so much mayhem that we can't actually, because we can't really be down there, because if we be down there, it won't really work right. And I'll show you what I mean here in just a second. But Let's see here, so we got... Got the bridges. There. You know what? I'm gonna just cut here really quick because I seem to be struggling a lot, and I'll be right back. And see, and that chicken got out. Wow. Yep. I'll be right back. Okay. So I got the bridges done. The bridges are all complete. Let me get this sorted out of my inventory. Um, I didn't finish the ones on that side completely, but there's a reason for that. I finished the ones over here because I think. Hold on. We got one dispenser there, one dispenser there, one there, and one there. Okay, so this is what we're going to do now, is we're going to hook up all these dispensers. So we're going to go... Is this... Oh, right. I forgot how I did this. So I think we're going to have to put half slabs here, and if the stuff... As far as I know, on this side, the cows and the chickens can get underneath this half slab. Now, for the pigs, or for the cows and the sheep, I think we're going to have to wire that up differently because of how the redstone will have to be up tighter towards this. But it kind of needs to be here anyway, so I might actually do the same thing on both sides. But let's just try to get these wired up here so it works like that. Okay. So... Uh, let's see here. So we need some kind of... I guess we're going to use redstone torches to make this is how we're going to power these on and off. Uh, let's see here. I always have trouble with with dispensers when it comes to using redstone torches. So we'll put... Mm, I guess we're going to gonna have to dig out an area here to kind of work around our situation. So we need this to be here. We need a redstone torch to be there. Dang it, I got I, I keep making these workbenches. I really hate making more workbenches than I actually need, but I always seem I, like I need a ton of them. So more half slabs. Place that there. Okay, now we want this there. Then we want that there. Then we need this. Alright. That will power that. Hold on. Let me just make some stuff here. Uh, lever. There we go. And this should power it, right? Yep. Okay. So the next one is right here. Now what I'm having trouble with here we're gonna have to dig out a huge section for this one. Is how we're gonna continue the the redstone stream. I, I'm good with redstone. I'm I'm just everything that I build is gonna be really bulky in redstone. So if you're watching me to like do a redstone tutorial, probably not the best person for that to be honest. Because I build bulky redstone. Uh, Hold on, will this cause some kind of redstone clock? I think it might actually. Which is what I'm worried about. So many blocks we have to break. Ah! There we go, okay. So we put 
That there, that there. And power that? No. no. Okay, never mind. I don't know why we have that. Uh, see, that's not going to power that either. Huh. See, this is what I was worried about. That's not going to get a signal. Um, we could do that, but we don't we don't have too much space to work here. We're working in a very tight cramped space. Oh, oh, oh here we go. So I could there we go. No, cuz that Yeah, okay. Yeah, cuz that okay. Okay. I got it. I got it. We'll do it like that. So so when I flip when I break this both lights should come on. Yep, and that one's good, too. Okay, so that's how we're gonna do it uh, Let's see we'll bring this Strip of redstone down here, and we will repeat the same thing. We'll break all this because we know we're gonna have to have room. You know, I think what I'll do is I'll just come down here and I'll just build a bridgeway for the rest of them, and I'll do that off camera or in a live stream. I seem to work a lot now on my uh, Let's Play world on my live streams, just because I can listen to music and it's kind of nice. But I will try to record a lot for you guys that way you guys know what's going on here so let me power that place that there break this i don't really use a bow that much so i'll just get that out of my inventory uh we'll need that there god those chickens are so loud uh repeater and like so right power we still good here yep okay so that's all good then we have one more which I'll have to make another comparator for let's see let's go shovel there we go and half slabs there we go and then we will get our noble bricks or blocks or whatever we're gonna call them like that. Oh, wait, did I actually do that with this one? I think I did actually. Nope, I didn't. I did it right. Good, good, good. good. Uh, like that, and then we'll have a redstone signal like that. One block there. Actually, that's. We'll make that into a half slab. There's no need, but it looks better as a half slab. And then we'll have whatever we're gonna power it with. Uh, up here. Like. So, now, I think it takes stone, right, to make uh, a redstone repeater, if I'm correct. Could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. So, there, cook some of that stone. If we come over here, let me, oh, I gotta drink all this now. So, there's four buckets we need. And one more. There we go. Okay. Let me go get these full of water. That way I can stick them in there. Uh, now, now basically what we're trying to achieve here is each one of these waters, uh, dispensers, will put out a bucket of water. And the way I place them in the middle like that will push all both the babies and the actual, like, the chicken eggs uh, out of the pen and down into the hoppers that are below. Which is basically where everything collects down there. Um... The babies will survive, they'll grow up, and then I'll harvest them down at the bottom of that thing, which I'll show you here before I end off the episode. So let me throw these into the dispensers here. Okay, I was worried there for a second that they were going to dispense this water. I'm like, no, don't do that. Like that, and we didn't, we didn't really fix this. There we go, okay, and one more. There we go, okay. I really wish you could dispense milk on the ground. I think that would just be something really cool, and if you stood in the milk, you'd get, like, a speed or something. That'd be kind of neat. It wouldn't be OP, but I, I don't know. I kind of like it just to, have, just to have a pile of milk. Okay, we need uh, two redstone torches, like this, and then like that. There we go, okay. Now, if I got this all working right, all I have to do is place this right there. And come up here and grab a lever. Flip the lever. Let's see if that worked. 
Uh, no, because I have to flip the lever twice. Because there we go. Right? Did that work? Everyone, everyone happy? All the pigs? I thought we were working on the chickens, but apparently we were working on the pigs. Okay, so now, now that we have that, this is the fun part. Okay. Uh, so actually, we'll turn this off. Cause I don't. Right? Yeah. Okay. Let's turn that off. That, that picked up all the the buckets of water. So now what we'll do here is we'll come onto these bridges and we'll feed. Oh. Okay. Well, <laughs> we'll just run along here. We'll feed all these piggies like it's no one's business. Eat all the carrots. Feed them. Make them all nice and plump. Uh. Well, I guess this is kind of the idea, anyways, is to jump down here and feed all of them. So we'll make sure they're all nice and fed, all nice and plump, all nice and ready to go. We'll come over here. Push this button. I really need to put a step. The pig will try to get out. Um, then what we'll do is we'll flood this. Right? Yep. And this will push all the pigs. You see how the pigs kind of get... Oh, okay. That's what I was worried about. See this here? Get, 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 get back in there. Get back in there. Get back in the pen. Get back in the pen. Thank you. Okay, see, that's what I was worried about. So I guess we're going to have to make this block right here a solid block. Which I will do. I, I'm assuming we're gonna have some in the chicken pen now as well. Yeah. Okay. That that's what I was worried about. I wasn't a hundred percent sure if they could actually. Well, I guess they could. Think about it. They will suffocate if they don't get out of that little hole. But that's basically how it's supposed to work. Is they're supposed to go through the gaps. And that is there any pigs in the chicken pen now? No. Okay, but anyways, the pigs go through the gap here. Let me make them stop bouncing. Alright. Okay, so the babies will drop through that little gap. I'll have to finish blocking that all up there with actual solid blocks. That way they can't go through there and they will only be pushed through the bottom. Um, wait, it will go all the way to over to our science lab, which is where the actual... I hear a silverfish. Um... We'll actually hook up here with the dropper. We'll come down here. I haven't worked on any of this yet. I'll have to do that. See? And we'll have all of our stuff. I d oh, the pigs are still escaping through there. And we have all our pigs that got over here somehow the other day. I'm not quite sure how that happened. But uh, everything collects here. All the babies. Uh, the chickens lay the eggs. And the eggs go here in the chest. Like, wow, that's a lot of eggs. Um... And we'll have mobs drop down here too. Hopefully the mobs won't pick up the eggs and they'll they'll die because we're gonna have a sorting system here where the the baby animals will be pushed under a slab. I'm not gonna break this because water is gonna there. So the baby animals will be pushed under the grate here and they'll all be in a collecting area and the mobs will be here and the water will push the mobs out somewhere over here and we'll kill the mobs separately uh, for the XP and then the animals. What we'll do is we'll braid them one more time down here. We'll kill them all off. Uh, and we'll have the babies there. That way we'll have twice as much food. Uh, I'm going to work on breeding all those up there a lot. That way we can actually, uh, when we breed them, a bunch of babies will rain down here. But basically, that is how it works. It works really well. Uh, I'm going to kill all these piggies here so I can get some food. See how many hits it takes? Like, if I start spam clicking, it, it really takes a lot of hits. Like, look at that. So, But if I do, if I do solid hits like this it's a one shot to each pig and it also hurts surrounding pigs too so I, I I hate to say it I like it but I don't like it if that makes sense to you guys like okay the pigs are just gonna run down there apparently there those are the the nearest full-grown pigs that immediately becomes their parent go go look at them go look at them go yep yep <laughs> down into the hole <laughs> But uh, I, I like it because you can do surrounding damage to other mobs, like in groups of mobs. But I don't like that you can't spam click. So basically, you do one solid click, and it comes back up, and it does a ton of damage. So I, I like it, and I don't like it. I really want to say I don't like it because it really screws up the tools. Because building with this is kind of stupid. Because like I'm chopping down a wood like this, clicking as fast as I can, or holding down to click and my axe disappears but I do like the fact that you can now use every tool in the game as um, as like a weapon which is really cool because I've always wanted to have a hoe that I could put like sharpness to on now uh, I hope during the snapshots here they add uh, 
and a better enchanting like they should add an enchantment where you can actually speed up the speed of each weapon here like have speed two or something actually on uh your weapon see it punch here it does a crit like that which i kind of like i like that at first i really didn't like it where i had that white thing come up my face but i kind of grow into it i'm really growing to it uh this does four attack speed this does one attack speed I guess a hoe would make more sense to do more damage, but eh, shovel, shovel, you could hit someone over the head, but like I said, I think for enchanting, they should fix it. Uh, you should be able to enchant every single weapon now and be, uh, have a chance of either getting efficiency, unbreaking, uh, looting, uh, no, not looting, um, what's the other one? Fortune, fortune, uh, Speed 2, which would be able to make it faster, or speed 1, speed 1, speed 2, speed 3, or maybe up to speed 5 would be really cool. Uh, depending, so you'd be able to swing really fast and do major damage uh, with a sword, which would be really neat. Um, or you, you should be able to get sharpness of any kind, sharpness 1 through 5, on your weapon here when you enchant it. Or not your weapon, but your hoe. So instead of just be able to getting... The basic tool enchantments like silk touch and efficiency and breaking you should be also when you enchant you should also be able to have the option to get um, sharpness on there too which would be really handy and i thought they would do that already because of how they've added the the new features for the tools to be weapons but they haven't i checked it doesn't work quite yet but i really hope they do that but anyways that is all the time i have for today guys i hope you guys enjoyed this let's play I don't really get too much done in these Let's Play episodes, so that's why I'm going to be doing a lot of live streams to actually catch up. I might start recording during the live streams, that way I can post what I've done on there to my channel, but that's basically what I'm going to do, uh, so make sure you, you check out my Twitch channel. And Anyways, thanks for watching, adios, and bye-bye.